discover the NAB Show, the ultimate destination for media, entertainment and technology professionals. Explore innovation and connect with industry leaders right here in Las Vegas. Well, at In Broadcast, we always love catching up with Simon from Bridge Technologies. Here we are in Las Vegas again yes, and we are. NAB. It's fantastic and it's so good to see you. And thank you for you know coming here. Um, Vegas is a crazy nice town to show new products in. And we have quite a, a lot of new stuff that we really want to showcase. So let me go straight into it. Absolutely. We are actually showing here uh, our canvas. We had our canvas for, for several years now, but we always expanded. It's the only kind of playground for, we call it the playground for the creatives, because they can have up to eight different signals here with full metering of any kind of kind, and they can design it themselves. It, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Everything here is in a web browser, and that means that you can do it from anywhere. And that's the whole you know, shebang with the 440. Everything is browser-based, and that means that in remote production, that's not a problem. So you've really been, once again, listening to what the customers want and meeting, I suppose, the trends. So you're really confident that uh, the customers are going to love this. Well, they do. Remember that the, the big FIFA World Cup, everything, all the shading was done on this equipment remotely in, in a central position. And the same for Women's World Cup and the same for most of the Olympics. So we are already very, very embedded into the, the major kind of tier one customers because they see the advantage. There's huge cost savings, but it's also quality enhancements you can do. And now that HDR is becoming very, very important for people, they need tools to a certain degree of, of, of complexity to be able to assure that the HDR content actually gets to that quality that the viewers love because they can see the difference. And what else are you showcasing then this year? Oh, let me take you around the corner here. So what have we got? Well, here is an interesting demonstration because remember that in broadcast production, infrastructure is the single most expensive thing that you have. First, you have the great creatives, you know, which is doing all the camera shading, etc. But they need a lot of equipment to be able to do their job. And that means they need a very, very good monitor to actually then do the previewing on. They need the RCPs to then adjust the irises of the cameras. They need a quad split to see all the cameras. They need waveform vector scopes. They need the program feed to make sure that they see you know, what's going on. We have actually managed to get all of those functions into one single pane of glass. And that means that in a web browser, you'll then be able to do the previewing, the overpress on the RCPs, and all of this is done within the 440 inside the browser. Amazing. And that means that you can reduce your infrastructure to next to nothing. And all of this is then, since it is in a browser, remote capable, and that's the whole point. So you can do it from anywhere. So we did a lot of this work during, of, of course, these huge events. And we are then showcasing this as a way to even lower the infrastructure cost, especially when you need to create new infrastructure for these big events. And the cost is, you know, such a big thing for people yes, now. And is. you've come up with the solutions. Yes, absolutely. And that just proves how important software-based solutions are. Because the back end of this can be run in a data center, on-prem, off-prem, wherever you actually need it. And then you just tap into it by networks. And that is the only way to go forward because this industry needs to be able to control costs. But especially when you have these big events which need a lot of infrastructure. Yes, it's amazing what you can achieve with something that's so compact as well. Exactly, it's just a computer screen. Of course, it's a pretty high-end computer screen, but it's, it's only a computer screen. And that means that, again, you can do it from, from anywhere, but also the quality can be improved by having then more tactileness available for the creatives. Is there anything else on this stand this year? Let me show you a couple of more things. I promised you one more thing, and, and basically this is one more thing. So we've then seen, um, you know, the beautiful canvas where you can see all your scopes uh, and stuff. We've seen that you can do full camera, control camera shading with everything on a single pane of glass. Now I'm going to show you audio. 
Because here we have a couple of uh, IP-based speakers. As you can see, they're only fed by one Ethernet cable. So it's both power over Ethernet and it's streaming AES67 audio straight to the speakers. And it's streaming it from our device, the 440. Running on a server, basically over there, but it can be in a data center, it can be wherever. And we have full control over the audio. And as you can see here, that is actually software control. And we are then actually then again streaming all the audio from the 440 straight to the speakers. So now you can use this as an audio controller as well. You can do this from stereo all the way up to 7.1.4 big immersive systems. And since we have all the audio analytics from Dolby inside the 440, we can then do a full immersive sound system and do uh, down mixes again from whenever, wherever. And it that's so cool incredible. Thing. Yeah. And we also created this beautiful volume control, yeah. which is actually that power over Ethernet connected to the network. So it connects them to the 440 residing in the data center or, or wherever. And then you can physically control the volume. And as you can see, you can either control the volume via the, the software or via the physical hardware. That is genius, absolutely cool. genius. You're very excited then this year. Absolutely, because again, the whole point here is to combine as many function in as less piece of equipment as possible. And when this runs as a software, it's highly expandable. If you need a ton of rooms, not a problem. It's just to expand the software. You don't need an awful lot of hardware. And that's the whole point, trying to compress the amount of equipment that you need to own. I'm supposed to ask you what's next for Bridge Technologies, but I think you've been pretty busy. We've been crazy busy. And believe me, I still have one more thing to show you. So here's the one more, one more thing. That's very, very true. And this, we're super excited about this because one of the key elements in any kind of production from SDI to 2110 to whatever is audio and video synchronization. Because video and audio follows two different paths. So the vision switcher have, you know, full of the, the video things. And then the audio guy has all the audio things. So always the picture is delayed and the audio is way ahead of the picture. So we created an AV sync capability with the AV sync generator, which then embeds digital data inside the picture and also digital data inside the audio. And then you can resync it with a very, very easy timeline. And the cool thing about that easy timeline is again that it's super smooth. All of this is frame accurate. And that means that it's very, very simple to adjust then all the delay. It's displayed in both uh, uh, milliseconds and in samples. So it's very, very easy to, to uh, adjust. I'll, I'll show you. Because basically here, you have a signal where you have an approximate big audio delay. I'll just adjust that and basically apply. And as you can see, the channel moves. So it's, it's very, very, very simple and to work it. this. And that's it? That's all the time that's it took? all the time it took. Wow. Super visual, very, very easy for the operator. And finally, you have then AV Sync for up to 64 channels in, in one go from one generator. It's just mind blowing. It is pretty cool. And again, in the same piece of equipment, running as software wherever. So it's highly scalable. How many generators do you need? Do you need five? Do you need 40? Not a problem. It's software, it scales. And that's the thing, you, you, you see something like this and you think, why did nobody think of this before? But that's you very, did. very true. But then again, we have our residential geniuses back in Oslo doing this, uh, this fantastic stuff. Well, Simon, it has been a pleasure as always, and you are going to be flat out busy at the show. I do believe so. So thank you for your time and then see you next show. Absolutely. Take care, Simon.